All right, welcome into the show. Creative Crypto here. Now, October has not got off to the start that most of us were thinking. There's a lot of fear in the market right now, as you can see, and also the Solana price has been going down. But this is not a time to panic. This is a time to actually be accumulating and finding meme coin gems. Because the smart investors, when the market is in great fear, they are actually bullish. And that is when they are accumulating their coins and stacking up. I found this website recently that has been very useful in order to analyze some different things in the market. I'm going to show you how I'm going to utilize this to find profitable meme coin traders that have maybe recently changed their wallets and you want to look at the other wallets that they have. There's a lot of great stuff with this website here. You can also see they have this Solana bubbles here. This is all the Solana meme coins. You can kind of see it in a different way here. You can see which coins are doing well today and which coins are on a dip. You can also change this between hour, daily, and weekly. So the way you look at this is the bigger the bubble, the bigger the market cap. So that is how you determine this. It's just kind of a fun little way to look at things here on the Solana market. We can see if we dive into the Solana price here on the charts that we are very oversold here for Solana and we should be getting a bounce fairly soon. However, with the market uncertainty, sometimes these things don't play out the way they're supposed to. Now, I did find a bar trend pattern that I've been looking at here the last couple weeks here with Solana. It's been following it somewhat here. It kind of bucked the trend here on the bar trend pattern. And you can see that this bar trend pattern has us kind of double bottoming here around October 10th and then going back up to a nice little pump of about 50% range until another correction here. But this is just based off a of previous pattern. It's based off of this pattern back here that I kind of found. And you can see that it's kind of mimicked it so far here. You know, there's been some times where it didn't really go according to plan, but that's the way it goes with bar trend patterns and different patterns on Solana. I also like using this defined website that I showed you guys before. This is where I found Mudang off of here at a very early market cap, and I really regret not buying when I first saw it. But you can come over here, click on gainers on Solana, and you can just kind of see the last 24 hours which coins are doing well and which meme coins might be worth gambling on. And they kind of changed the layout of this last time that I made a video here. But you can see over here, you want to look for the coins that were launched on Pump Fun. That's the way I like to look at it. And then you just go through and just look at the charts. It's a great way to also find insiders. I showed you that in previous videos. This video is about finding wallets that have made good trades for you in the past if you're copy trading, but they decide to change wallets for whatever reason, how to continue to track those wallets and potentially find their new wallets. And I'm gonna show you an example of this from one of my own copy trades, and it was the best copy trade that has ever happened to me. And I've actually made a video about it on the channel where I made 18 Solana on one copy trade. I like to call that a holy grail trade where everything just works right and it just absolutely is a home run hit. It's the holy grail of copy trades. I've hit one of those in my career here copy trading and I hope you guys have hit one before. They are rare, but they do happen. And I'll show you it here on the bot because it doesn't really matter now because both of these wallets that actually bought this coin are no longer using those wallets. So this is back on August 8th. This is my holy grail copy trade for Mooney coin. You can see that one wallet here I found on Zelfie Guru on 8-4, okay? Because that's how I label my wallets. If I find it on Zelfie Guru, I put a Z, and that's from the Zelfie Guru spreadsheets. And you can see that, like I told you in the video, if you watch the video where I talk about this trade, I had one wallet buy it here at around a $6,000, $7,000 market cap, give or take. And then a second wallet, four minutes later, got it at around 10 to 12K market cap. So you can see the two buys came in there, one for half a Solana, one for 0.3. And then this is where the holy grail trade starts. You can see that this coin obviously started pumping about an hour later. These wallets started laddering out some sell positions. Now, I kind of got lucky here because this one actually failed because of the slippage, but they were trying to sell a good amount of the token here. So luckily this one actually didn't go through, which actually saved me some money because it actually ended up going higher. And then they didn't sell as many coins. You can see this was for about 500,000 coins. And then I'm going to scroll through this. You can see that it just starts going and going. Now, unfortunately, this wallet started selling earlier than the other wallet, which was actually holding longer. But you can't really control that if they buy the same coin. This is actually the first time I've had this happen where 
copy traders have bought the same coin at the same time. So this trader started selling a little bit earlier than the other trader, but that's okay because you can see these cells started coming through. They just keep stacking on, you know, just keep stacking on. And this is when you really start to hit the jackpot when you see something like this in your copy trade bot. It's just sell after sell. This is what you want to see because they are laddering out of the position and making more money. So you can see this is all from this wallet here. Okay, this wallet is doing all the laddering out. The other wallet will come in eventually here. But you can just see how insane this was, how just all these cells happening, stacking up the Solana. It's just truly incredible, guys, and just goes to show you that this can happen. I am proof that this can happen. And if you hit a copy trade like this, you will definitely be thankful that you did because these type of trades don't happen very often. Like I said, this was one of the rare ones that happened to me on the channel. And you can see it's still all the same wallet. And then eventually this wallet started selling at this price here. All in all, it was an absolutely home run of a copy trade. And then this wallet started selling more and more. And we just continue to go down here all the way down. Just absolutely insane. I don't know how many trades this was, but at least I want to say over 20 or 30 cells that happened here. And when I scrolled through this, when I first saw this, when I checked my phone after I got home from work, I just kept scrolling through and seeing all of these cells, all of these gains. I'm like, this is absolutely incredible. Until it gets down to the end where the PL card prints, this is the money print right here, guys. And this is what it's all about. And you can see that is absolutely insane. 0.88 to 18.9 Solana. This was an absolutely holy grail copy trade in one hour and 24 minutes. And this is something I will never forget and was really one of the best days ever that I've had in crypto. And here's the copy trade, guys, on the chart form. This is my wallet, my bot wallet that I put in here. You can see the two buys over here and then the crazy sells that happened all the way up and pretty much to the T on this. Of course, it would have been better to get most of these sells up here, but it's pretty good on there. I mean, I'm not going to complain on that. And then actually, I decided to buy once here and show you another buy here. I don't remember that one, but this one I did buy manually because just to hold the moon bag, just in case that this coin went up more, but it didn't. It actually fizzled out after that. And as you can see, guys, from the trade logs, this was all 100% a copy trade. I did not interfere. I did not have to do anything. I literally was not even looking at the phone at the time. And I literally saw it when I got home from work and saw what happened. Just goes to show you the power of the Trojan trading bot and copy trading. It does work. And if you can hit on a holy grail trade like this, you can truly make some really insane profits. So now I want to show you how to utilize this Soul Sniffer tool to find potential wallets that this wallet also uses. Because like I said, they don't trade anymore on this. And I want to see if I can find any of their other related wallets. And that's how this tool allows you to do it. It's really cool how this works. So just click on wallet there when you're doing a search and then you can actually analyze the wallet. So right here we can see their last activity was around August 8th. Let's see if they have any related wallets. You just click right here, related wallets, and you would see any related wallets here. Unfortunately, this wallet doesn't have any other related wallets that they utilized. However, there's other ways to potentially find this. This is not a dead end here. So we'll go to that in a second. But let me actually check that second wallet and see if they have any related wallets. So I'll copy this other wallet here, paste it into Soul Sniffer, press enter. Sometimes it doesn't show here on the wallet. Just click enter up here and it should work. So not scanning the wallet. Zero balance. August 8th was the last one. And they also have zero related wallets. Okay, so how you navigate SoulScan guys up here, the main tabs that I use are the transfers and the balance changes. When you want to look at trading history, you look at balance changes. When you want to look at transfers, you go over to transfers. This is where they receive and send Solana or tokens. So first click here to sort by Solana, and then we're going to filter this for outflow because we want to see where they sent the Solana out because they definitely made some profit. Where did they send the Solana out? So here's six Solana they sent to this wallet about a month ago. Oh, here's actually where they sent more. This is 80 Solana to the same wallet. I think that's the same wallet, FUD. Let's go back over here, FUD. Yes, that's the same wallet. So this looks like a wallet that they are utilizing. So let's look into this wallet. 
Okay, so this looks like just some type of go-between wallet. And we can see they sent the rest of the 86 Solana to this wallet. Okay, so here's another wallet with a zero balance. This is where they sent the 86 Solana. Let's go over to transfers and see where that ended up. So they sent 21 to this wallet. You can see, I mean, look at how much Solana they were accumulating here from this wallet, 160 seven so they must have had multiple wallets making trades this is a lot of solana that they were using here now they sent the bulk of it to this wallet here 765 so let's open this up in a new tab okay so this is just another in-between wallet so interesting they received it here we don't see it on transfers however if we go to transactions there has to be a transaction of the Solana getting sent out. So let's check on this actual transaction. So you can see they swapped the 765 Solana for USDC. And then in the same transaction, they sent the USDC to this wallet. Okay, so let's click on that. That's why it kind of gets tricky if you notice that, you know, where did the, where did the Solana go? Because if you lose the trail, you have to look in the actual transaction because sometimes it's tricky and you don't actually see what happened here. Okay, so now they sent the 103,000 USDC to this wallet. So it's kind of like a game of cat and mouse here where you're trying to find where did this actually end up. And here we go. We're back over here to this other wallet. This might be their actual holding wallet. Let's see their history here. So you can see, this is just a wallet that they use to accumulate. So now that we found their holding wallet, okay, which seems to be their holding wallet, we can then copy this, come back over to the soul sniffer, and we can paste it in here and analyze this wallet to see if they send and fund other wallets with this holding wallet. They may or may not, we don't know. We can look on soul scan, but it's much easier to just look through here first so here we go we did hit on some related wallets we can see here are mostly inflows okay that means wallets that are sending solana in however there are some outflows okay so number one being here there's five outflows to this wallet so we could actually copy this wallet paste it into soul scan and see if they're actually trading with this wallet or what this wallet is doing so it looks like they're holding some Flog coin here, which maybe they got in that coin early. Interesting. So you can see they actually are doing some trades. Uh, they actually acquired this recently here, this Flog position, 200 Solana in. They've been buying some Puchita here. All right. So we do have some trading history here with this wallet. I don't know if it's profitable, but we can check that as well. So we can check the profitability with Zofi Guru. We can save ourselves some time, paste it in here, and see if this wallet is a profitable wallet. So they made an 8x on Quant, 2x on Manu. The rest of these are kind of losing trades. They have a profit of 1,200 Solana in the last 30 days. So they are making some profits here. However, they're trading with big amounts, as you see. Their average buy is around 70 Solana. They do have 41% in the lost, more than 50% range. So just something to look at here. Okay, that's one of the wallets. And we can go back through here and check out some of the other ones. Okay, and see if any of these are worth potentially copy trading. And maybe some of these they're currently using more than other ones. Okay, and maybe we can find one like we found with the Mooney coin where they buy in early and ladder the positions out. So what I want to look for first is a wallet that has an inflow and an outflow because that might show us a wallet that they're actively using but most likely because people like this change their wallets up they don't have a wallet that has an inflow and an outflow because once they send out funds to a wallet they're not sending it back in with that wallet it's basically one or the other they have wallets that they use for inflows and wallets that they use for outflows which is exactly what i'm seeing here because i don't see any wallets that have an inflow and an outflow so we'll just have to look at the outflow wallets. Let's look at this one here with eight transactions. We can see this wallet has 14 Solana. They have some brainlet here. So man, this trader just has tons of Solana everywhere. Okay, this is really interesting to look at. 
we can see that they were trading this Zumo coin. Okay, let's check out if that's a legit buy, and it is. But you can see this is kind of tough to copy trade because they were trading a different coin for this coin. Okay, and actually made a really bad trade on that one. Okay, they traded a coin that's got a value of six thousand dollars now for a coin that has ninety dollars in value. Ouch, that is a bad trade right there. So let's just run this through Zelfie Guru and see if this wallet is profitable. So we have a 6x here on this coin. The rest are kind of losing trades here. They do have a profit of 800 Solana here in 30 days. Some of these they didn't buy and they probably were transferred in. So that might skew some of those ROI numbers that you're seeing here. However, this is just something interesting to look into. As you can see how you can really go deep in the rabbit hole here when you find a wallet like this, and just because a wallet that you copy trade made good trades in the past, decided to stop trading with that wallet, there are ways that you can look and find their other wallets. Now, this one we got lucky because they sent a bulk of this Solana to a different wallet instead of an exchange. If they send it to an exchange, it makes it a lot tougher, but not impossible. There are ways to do that. And that's something I'll share in a future video because I'm still actually kind of experimenting with that and I want to kind of perfect that strategy before I share it on the channel. But there are ways to find wallets that send it to an exchange where you can maybe find their new wallets that they're using. So look out for that in the future. For now, guys, this is a really great tool to use because I know some people in the Telegram were asking about a tool like this and I was wondering if one existed and I ended up finding one. So this is very good to be able to find that. And you can just go through, guys. I mean, look at how many wallets. This is absolutely a whale here, having all these different wallets that they're utilizing. It's truly incredible. So either they're some type of insider or they're just a really good meme coin trader. Tough to know for sure. But all I know is they are making insane amount of gains. And that's what we want to be doing here when we can copy trade them. So I'm definitely gonna bookmark this myself and come back to this wallet when I have more time to dive in because this was one of the wallets that got me a holy grail copy trade. Why wouldn't I look into this more and see if we can find another wallet to do it again? Okay guys, now I wanna show you my current copy trades here and some of the positions that I'm holding. Of course, the Mudang position I've shared with you guys before how I bought in at $4 million market cap after I posted in the Telegram. It's kind of bittersweet because when I was making a video, I literally saw this coin at $350,000 market cap. So that would have been close to 1,000x, okay, once it hit the all-time highs. It actually was 1,000x when Mudang hit about 350 million because that is literally 1,000x. So if I had bought one Solana in Mudang and forgot about it until it hit $350 million market cap, that position would have been worth 1,000 Solana, which today is worth about $130,000. So that's one of the biggest mistakes I've made in crypto, guys, but sometimes that happens. You can't dwell on it. You just have to look forward to the future. And the cool thing is I'm up 20X here on this position. Unfortunately, like I said, I only bought 0.1. So again, I made two blunders here, not buying in early and then buying in not very much Solana because I really didn't know the power that this meme coin had and then even to make it a little bit worse here i accidentally had an auto sell go through for when it hit 100 percent profit that i forgot to cancel when i did make the purchase and one of the copy traders that i was copying was also holding mudang and they were starting to sell some of their position so then i was able to go in there and blacklist that from that wallet so they're no longer able to trade this and so now i can just hold this and there's no other limit orders or auto sells that are going to happen and see if we can hit a billion dollar market cap or more with Mudang. I think it's possible because I think there's a potential Binance listing in the future for Mudang. We'll see if that hurts or helps because you never really know when you get a new exchange listing. However, it could definitely help because we see coins like Whiff, like Bonk. Those are the billion dollar coins right now on Solana. And those coins are listed on Binance. So we'll see if Binance wants to list it because the volume that Mudang is generating trading is insane. And you know eventually Binance is going to want a piece of that action. This coin here, this cheese ball, this was another copy trade that I got in here. Recently just took a little bit of profit here off the top. 
We're at 300% right here. All right, guys, this was a copy trade recently here from a new wallet that I found on September 30th from Zofi Guru. They got into this Benny the Bull coin here, and at the end of the day, ended up making around 164%. Really long hold time, too. I actually ended up just taking the profit myself at the end. The trader had secured some profit and left the moon bag, and the coin was kind of stalling out, so I decided to just take the rest here and close out the trade for 164% profit. So Zofi Guru is still providing some nice profitable wallets on those new spreadsheets, guys. Definitely don't fade those if you're in Zofi Guru Premium. You have access to those every single day. All right, guys, so I hope you found this video useful. I hope you found some value in this video. I hope it's going to help you be able to analyze wallets that you're copy trading if you need to find related wallets to them and where they sent some coins out and how to track those wallets so you can continue to copy trade those really good gem wallets that you don't want to miss out on. So if you guys like this video, please hit a thumbs up, subscribe for more. Let me know in the comments down below, how have you been doing with copy trading or trading in general? Have you hit on a holy grail copy trade where you hit an insane, you know, 18, 20x on one trade? Let me know down below. I'll be interested to hear about it. And until the next time, we will talk again. Take care and take charge. Creative Crypto, out.